Hi guys and welcome to another, well it's like a squad, it's a FIFA 16 squad um, Me and Daily Vendor have been working on some graphics, well me and Daily Vendor, I've just asked him what to do And uh, today we're going to be looking at some of uh, the best players on the game So today we're going to be building the best possible BPL squad We're not going to be playing with it because obviously um, you're unable to do it on the demo You're unable to do it unless you've actually got a full game and open packs Which none of us have, but we're going to be looking at these teams anyway so, if you guys remember the start of last FIFA, informs come out, these is no inform, so the only thing we've got is the database to go off. So today we're going to be looking at the best possible BPL squad, like I did say. If you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, getting ready and stacked up for FIFA 16 starting on the 17th on the, the early access, then uh, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If we try and hit over 7,000 likes, that'd be awesome, and if we do hit over 5,000 likes, I will do some more if you guys do enjoy them. We can go around the leagues, the clubs, and everything else like that. If the players are on the database and also if you are new to the channel drop a subscription as well and uh, in the future we're doing a lot more FIFA 16 stuff everyone's getting prepared for FIFA 16 including myself so let's go and uh, start having a look at the squad so in net we start off with none other than David De Gea um, he was rumoured not to be going to, well he was supposed to not be in the game um, for uh, Manchester United that is anyway he was going to be uh, moving to Real Madrid but that got um, a bit gypped up and now he remains an highest rated goalkeeper there's actually two goalkeepers uh, which are 86 rated in the BPL and we went with David De Gea just because there's a lot of Chelsea players in here the other one is Courtois. We then move on to the left centre back which is Vincent Company, getting a downgrade from an 86 to an 85 and uh, has decent pace and everything else like that. Uh, looks a very very nice card. I still think he's going to be worth a little bit of money as well, um, mainly due to Link to Hazard and uh, he looks alright as well. It depends, I don't know, guess these price ranges. If price ranges are in the game, guess the price ranges of these players. The next one then move on to the middle centre back which is John Terry. Now the reason we're putting him in the middle and we always do this regardless of if we played the game or not. He apparently is one of the best defenders on the game. If you guys have played the game at Gamescom, played the beta, played the demo with John Terry, you'll realise that he is actually all right this time. He's been upped in um, to an 85 rated card. He does have very, very low pace, and I can still imagine him being a discard value player, but an 85 John, uh, John Terry does make it in there. So with the fresh new addition of a Manchester City signing, which was a nice one, everyone's looking forward to using him, um, it is Otamendi. This is the first time in a while that Murtasaka is nowhere to be seen in a best possible team of... Uh, the BPL, so Otamendi jumps in there as an 84 rated Argentinian uh, centre back as well looks very very nice and also continuing the tradition guys because of EA not really rating um, the left backs and uh, right backs quite high rated uh, unfortunately we are sticking uh, with uh, a free at the back formation as we always do like to do it the next one is Cesc Fabregas jumping into it from an 85 to an 87 rated centre midfielder looks awesome as well Hit that type of player is going to be ridiculous, but there's one player who doesn't make it into the team which I'm looking forward to using, and that player is Santi Cazorla. We then move on to the right hand side cent um, CM, and that is uh, Ozil as well, getting his dubious, I don't know I don't know if it's dubious but he's got a dubious upgrade to an 87 rated cam and we've moved him into the centre midfield position as well, keeping the one position change as we do with our squad builders anyway we then move on to the left midfielder which is the highest rated player in the BPL which is Eden Hazard with an 89 rated imagine if he gets a team of the week 1 in form, that'd be absolutely sick um, but a lot of people complaining that he's higher rated than Neymar but that happens, you know, it's life and uh, obviously the guys in Germany decide to rate these cards like that we then move into the right Right hand side and this is going to be a lacklustre uh, for best possibles anyway and it is Mata, the right midfield version for Manchester United. 84 rated, Sanchez has moved over from the right to the left and uh, there's not really looking like there's going to be much decent right midfielders uh, in the BPL. If you guys have seen um, some other players in the BPL which you're thinking of getting in your starter squads, let me know who you think that is going to be your BPL right midfielder this year because the likes of Valencia, I'm not sure if he's actually a right midfielder, um, but he got a nerf in pace. The next one uh, if we move up into the camp position is uh, none other than David Silva as well he was in the top 10 actually 88 rated card going to be absolutely ridiculous everyone hated the fact he was a left midfield card um, as standard in FIFA 15 now in FIFA 16 he is a central cam role and has the stats to do it as well if you guys have not seen the stats go and check out um, Foothead or Footwiz all of them have got the in-game stats of all these players and uh, they look absolutely sick um, David Silva is going to be a money maker I tell you that for free for an 88 rated cam we then move into 
the striker position. We start off with uh, Sergio Aguero in the striker position, getting, um, well, sticking the same rating as an 87. I reckon he should have been an 88, um, but obviously uh, EA don't, and he's an 87 rated striker. Looks all right as well, decent pace, and I think he's going to play well. I actually did play with him in the foot draft today, and uh, he taught people a new, well, I say taught people a new one, he didn't tear people a new one. He taught a computer a new one, and uh, it felt good using him. We then move on to the final player of this squad, guys, and it is the, um, well, uh, no, just a normal rated uh, Diego Costa, 86 rated card, looks alright as well, strong, fast and uh, decent shooting strikers I think are going to be beneficial in the game, if not much does change from what I've played previously and uh, hopefully you guys do make some money if you manage to pack these in the first week. So guys in front of you is obviously the best BPL team available to you at the start of FIFA 16. It could change um, come the team of the week one uh, in form players but currently with the database this is how it does look. Some nice cards in there. Let me know which BPL players you guys are looking forward to and uh, if you want to see me do any more squads in the future of these feel free to let me know as well as there's loads of leagues to cover and uh, not long until FIFA 16 as well. So one more thing while we're here, guys. Um, if you remember or are not our fresh subscribers or your long-term subscribers, you may remember these, which is the um, I don't know if you can hear me actually, which is the foot cards, uh, the foot wall hashtag foot wall. I'm starting to build that up. In the comment section below, you guys want to go ham and let me know some more players you want to see on the wall behind me. It's so going to change dramatically um, as the cards do get printed out and uh, sorted out, but it's going to look pretty good in uh, on the wall. It's People call it sad, but I enjoy having something different to most other YouTubers in the background, and the foot cards are, they just look sick. They absolutely look absolutely ridiculous. So a massive thank you to Daily Render for doing the graphics of the video, doing the cards as well. You guys go and drop him some support down below as well. If you're looking in the description, you can find all these details down there um, and go and follow him on Twitter and Instagram, etc. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's not a squad builder. I'm not going to claim it off as a squad builder because we've got no gameplay uh, and the gameplay will start as soon as I get uh, my hands on the uh, early access, uh, the same as most of you guys as well. So this is the squad, how it does look. No gameplay, like I said, because we can't play with the players or the team. And uh, if you want to see any more done, leave a comment down below which teams. Leave some players for the uh, football. And uh, until later on today, guys, have a very, very nice rest of your day and we're back with another video later.